North-South Commuter Railway System is a flagship project of the government under the Build, Build, Build program. It is the largest railway project in the Philippines to date. The NSCR is co-financed by the Asian Development Bank and the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The project is central to the government's vision of bringing back the culture of rail transport in the country. Once fully operational, the entire North-South commuter railway line will reduce travel time between Clark International Airport to Kalamba from more than 4 hours to less than 2 hours. The 163-kilometer railway system will have 35 stations and will serve 27 cities and municipalities in the national capital region and nearby provinces. The entire North-South commuter railway is being constructed in three segments, Malolos Clark, Tutuban Malolos, and Solis Calamba. Construction on the Tutuban Malolos segment started in February 2019 and is now more than halfway through completion as of June 2022. Construction of the Malolos Clark segment began during the COVID-19 pandemic with the relentless efforts of the Department of Transportation and Philippine National Railways, construction of the Malolos Clark Railway project is in full swing. The segment includes the country's first airport railway express service to the Clark International Airport. The railway's southern segment, the South Commuter Railway Project, will connect Metro Manila to Calamba and will have 18 elevated and at-grade stations. The signing of the South Commuter Railway Project loan agreement between ADB and the Government of the Philippines in June 2022 marks another milestone in the government's efforts to provide comfort and convenience to Filipino commuters within Metro Manila and neighboring provinces. The entire North-South Commuter Railway will create more than 59,000 jobs during construction and over 4,600 jobs during actual operation. It will spur growth multiplier effects in the economy through supplier contracts and create new job opportunities through better connectivity in the region. The project will contribute to the Philippines' climate change action agenda. It is estimated that by 2040, more than 600,000 passengers will be using the railway daily resulting in lower greenhouse gas emissions in the country. The government of the Philippines remains steadfast in making the dream of a more comfortable life for every Filipino a reality. Isang mahagpalang umaga po mga kabayan Welcome po muli sa ating latest update Dito po sa PNR in CR South Yan po mga bayan, panibagong location na naman po ito Ito pong area na ito mga bayan Sa uh, pag ano nila ng soil testing nito mga kabayan Ito po ay panibagong area no? Ito po ay malapit sa old Mamatid Station sa may Banlik, Kalamba, Laguna Mula rito mga bayan hanggang doon sa pinakaunang location ng pag soil testing nila mga bayan sa may malapit po yon no yung mismong 
station sa Kabuyao. Mula roon, papunta rito sa area na ito, yung panibagong soil testing na naman tumahabayan, ay aabot ito sa halos limang kilometro. No? At sa unahan po nitong location na ito mga bayan ay yun na po yung mamatid station. Yung lumang station ng PNR, no? Test update po tayo mga bayan sa PNR in ECR South ngayong October 2, 2023 dito po sa area na boundary ng Tabuyaw at mismong Kalamba, Laguna. Napakalaking tulong po ito mga bayan kapag ito ay matapos na mula dito sa Kalamba, Laguna papuntang Solis, Maynila. No? Dahil ito po ay talagang solusyon po ito sa trapiko dito po sa South mga bayan. Dahil po sa South Luzon Expressway mga bayan kahit umaga, hapon, wala, walang pinipiling oras, matrapik na rin po. Kaya napakagandang proyekto po ng gobyerno ito. Malaking tulong po ito sa kagaya sa akin na laging lumuluwas ng Maynila papasok sa trabaho. Ito ay malaking tulong sa amin no? na nagkukumyot papuntang Maynila at paluwas. At higit pa dyan mga bayan, itong PNR in ECR South mga bayan ay mula kalamba hanggang doon sa Clark Pampanga po ito.